everyone and welcome back to my channel. Her Majesty, aged 96, has died at Balmoral Castle, Buckingham Palace has announced. She was the nation's longest reigning monarch, serving as head of state for more than 70 years. This is the final photo of the Queen taken at her home in Balmoral as she welcomed new Prime Minister Liz Trust. The picture taken on September 6 as she received Boris Johnson at Balmoral Castle as he left office before greeting Liz Truss and asking her to form a government and become Prime Minister. It marked the first time the first time the 96-year-old monarch carried out the key duty at her retreat in Aberdeenshire rather than at Buckingham Palace due to her ongoing mobility issues. Buckingham Palace announced the monarch's death this evening, September 8th. The Prince of Wales is now king, having ascended to the throne immediately on the death of his mother. In a statement, the palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Britain will now enter a period of national mourning as tributes flood in from around the globe, hailing the Queen's unwavering commitment to serving her country and the Commonwealth. The Queen is now expected to lie in state in a few days' time, with her funeral held in Westminster Abbey in central London in around 10 days. On September 7th, the Queen postponed her Privy Council meeting after being advised by royal doctors to rest. The future King, the Prince of Wales, and second in line to the throne, the Duke of Cambridge, rushed to the Queen's Scottish Highlands home. Her other children, the Princess Royal, the Duke of York and Earl of Wessex, were also present, drawn by the Duchess of Cornwall and the Countess of Wessex. The Duke of Sussex, despite his long-running troubles with the monarchy, was also travelled to Scotland after cancelling plans to attend the Well Child Awards on Thursday evening, on the last day of his mini-European tour. The Duchess of Cambridge remained in Windsor to take care of her and William's children, who had their first full day at their new school on Thursday. BBC One suspended its regular programming schedule following the announcement that the Queen is under medical supervision at Balmoral. Earlier, the Archbishop of Canterbury said, The prayers of the nation were with the Queen. My prayers and the prayers of people across the Church of England and the nation are with Her Majesty the Queen today. Justin Welby tweeted, May God's presence strengthen and comfort Her Majesty, her family and those who are caring for her at Balmoral. Former Prime Ministers David Cameron and Sir Tony Blair were among those sending messages of support. I send my heartfelt thoughts and prayers to Her Majesty the Queen and the Royal Family at this worrying time, Mr Cameron wrote. Sir Tony tweeted, It's deeply concerning to hear today's news from Buckingham Palace. My thoughts and prayers are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this worrying time. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.